hier met de voorwoord van zorg en zekerheid leider basketbal topscorer vandaag tegen de Chemnitz 99ers. Jibbe, Sikking Jibbe, hoe kijk je terug op deze zware wedstrijd? Um, ja, ik weet het niet zo goed. Supergoed team. Uh, dus uh, wij hebben een kleine rotatie te verwachten dat het een moeilijke zware wedstrijd wordt. Uh, 30 punten vind ik wel veel liever. Natuurlijk win ik, maar het moet wel realistisch zijn. Met deze rotatie dat, wordt dat moeilijk, maar uh, ja, 30 is niet goed. Sommige momenten spelen wij gewoon, uh, sommige momenten spelen wij gewoon een beetje net zoals we al opgegeven hebben. Zeg maar, ik had dat zelf ook, dat je van ja, niks zit mee en dan een tijdje dan gaat in zijn, in zijn eigen hoofd zitten, in zijn eigen dingetje en dan ga je weer praten en dan ren je gewoon een beetje heen en weer en dan is iedereen met, het is geen teamspel meer dan. Dus dat hebben we op een gegeven moment wat al slecht is. Uh, ik vind ook dat we in sommige vlagen wel uh, goede dingen hebben gedaan. Uh, wat energie geven, bijvoorbeeld aan het einde ging het beter, het eerste kwart was goed, maar ja, ik vind dit zonde. Dat was even gaan naar die periode wat later in de wedstrijd. Het was het derde kwart of eerder het vierde kwart. Toen kwam er echt even een beetje flow in dit dunks van Duco. Jij pakte de ene score naar de andere. Luc werd even red hot. Wat herinner je je nog van die periode? Uh, ik weet één nog heel goed dat ik, zeg maar, ik snee en ik was helemaal open. En ik zo, Luc, Luc, ik wil heel graag de bal. Hij had twee mannen op moment schoot hij hem fade away and one. Ja, ik mag niet klagen dan, maar... Uh... Ja, Duco met die dunks, geweldig, goede steals. Bijvoorbeeld hij neemt dan een paas weg en dat leidt tot twee dunks, wat iedereen kan doen. Uh, en we dus meer moeten doen, want het werkt wel, maar niet iedereen. Ja, het kost moeite, dus niet iedereen wil het doen, maar uh, ja, dat moeten we wel meer doen. Uh, voor de rest, ja, ik heb open schoten eigenlijk genomen vooral en ze landen dit keer. Je be, ja, iedereen kent het verhaal, Maarten is geblesseerd geraakt. Hetzelfde geldt uh, voor Stan helaas. Vandaag uh, even Roeland poosje uitgevallen. Hoe is dat voor jullie als team in de training en de wedstrijden om, ja, om dat dan in te vullen? En vooral voor jouzelf, je speeltijd, de, de dingen die je moet doen in het veld nu jullie gewoon kleinere rotatie hebben. Ja, bijvoorbeeld, je merkt wel erg op training. Uh, we kunnen soms gewoon bijna niet trainen, want ja, nu moet Luc op de vijf gaan en dan moet Lucas mij gaan verdedigen. En dan is dat bij iedereen is dan uit positie. Je, je kan net niet lekker trainen. Uh, je kan niet te lang trainen, omdat tijdens de wedstrijd moet iedereen veel spelen. Uh, ja, het is natuurlijk zonde. We hebben wel de nieuwe speler die volgens mij komt, dus dat is top. Uh, die speelt volgens mij op de drie, toch? Ja, nou, dat is fijn. Uh, maar ja, het is wel zwaar. Ik persoonlijk, tuurlijk, ik vind het leuk om te spelen. Dus als Roland nu uitvalt, speel ik meer. Maar ja, ik heb natuurlijk veel liever dat Roland gewoon fit blijft. Ja, dat, 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 dat spelen we natuurlijk ook beter met een extra center. Roland is goed, dus ja, dat heb ik veel liever natuurlijk. Ja, laatste vraag. Je, je bent, we spraken je een aantal weken geleden. Je bent uh, ja, nog steeds heel erg nieuw in Leiden, maar toch weer een stapje verder. Zijn er dingen zo die jij in dit seizoen, uh, sinds je in september zo bent gaan trainen, ziet van... Ja, ik begin ergens mijn draai mee te vinden binnen dit team. Of, of misschien gewoon skills die je aan het verbeteren bent in je eigen game. Ja, dus als eerst, ik begin gewoon natuurlijk, is logisch, veel beter met die jongens te worden. Je kent elkaar beter, je leert elkaar beter kennen. Dus dat is gezellig. Het is veel, voor mij nu, ik ben gewoon beter met die jongens. Ze zijn betere vrienden van me. Uh, en vorige keer had ik verteld, ik ben aan, de, aan mijn schot aan het werken. En dat begint steeds meer uh, naar beter te gaan. Waardoor ik op training ga raken en dan word ik het zelfverzekerder. Waardoor ik er nu bijvoorbeeld ook twee in schiet. Dus dat helpt natuurlijk ook, dat vooral. We hebben dat gezien, 13 punten vandaag topscorer van Zetse Leiden tegen het ja, Chemnitz nummer 1 in de Basketball Bundesliga. Hele sterke tegenstander, heel veel succes zondag tegen Zwolle. En we zien jou weer tegen Den Bosch volgende week donderdag. Je beschikking. Met het coach of Zorg en Zekerheid Leiden Basketball, Doc Spratley, coach. Game in the second group phase of the FIBA Euro Cup against the Bundesliga leading Chemnitz 99ers. How do you look back on tonight's game? Not good. I mean, um, there's a reason they're they're the top of their league. Um, very deep team, very very disciplined, well coached, physical. Um, they got guys that can score. They got guys that do dirty work. They got guys that can uh, designate shooters. They have the whole package and. Uh, You know, they do a good job of putting their teams together and um, they deserve to be where they're at. What are things that you can take away positives from your own team from, from today's game? Mm, not a heck of a lot. Not a heck of a lot. I'm glad that uh, they took their foot off the gas in the second half. It could have been uh, even worse. But, uh, you know, it's, I said before, with our injuries, with the situation we have, with the lack of foreigners, uh, there's some games where you just got to give, give it away. And uh, but the one thing that did disappoint me is I didn't feel that we really fought. You know, I, that we missed way too many easy shots. We missed way too many uh, assignments uh, in the second quarter. I, it, to me, it looked like we just started with my starters. 
just hung our heads and said, okay, let's get it over with. And uh, you can't do that. You still got to play hard. You still got to fight, uh, not just for your teammates, but for the for the fans in the, in the crowd. Therefore, I was happy in the second half when, when Duco was able to get some minutes. Yiba got some minutes. Liam got some minutes. Uh, Duco, I think, was the only guy that really got out there and tried to take a couple passes away. And he got steals for it. So... Uh, you know, those are minutes that uh, are very valuable for the young players, and uh, I was happy that uh, him and Yiba were able to take advantage of it. Final question about this game, Coach. Uh, you coached and played in Germany for a long time. We were really successful there. Are there then things that you enjoy about an opponent like today, the high level, th their success, their, their level of play, or is it just, well, they're making life really hard? We're in a tough situation as light at the moment, and there's not much joy there, or as, as a basketball fan, you know? Uh, does it bring as, something? As a competitor, uh, as a player, I used to love playing against teams like this where you're overmatched because uh, there's no better way to show what you have than to play against teams like this. Uh, as, a, as a fan, I think for our fans, it's great to see that level of play. To see uh, there is a huge difference between the BBL and, uh, and the Dutch League. And uh, do I know that? Of course. You know, and uh, I tried to tell my teammates, uh, team this and we played a couple uh, BBL teams in the preseason as well um, but neither one was as good as what we just played and uh, so it's a this year, international competition is a is a huge thing it's, it's great for the team it's great for the fans but in our constellation it can be I won't say a nightmare but a, it's pretty close uh, just because we just don't have the personnel uh, to carry on with this with the Dutch Cup with the league and um, it's not getting any easier yeah, speaking of which, two small final points maybe. Anything already known about Rulens, the extent of Rulens' injury of today, ankle? I, I think he sprained it, but uh, the extent of it, I don't know. We'll know more when we uh, see how it looks in the morning and hopefully we'll get to the doctor and then, then we see what happens. Final question, coach. Uh, your team is also looking for probably a, gu a new guard, but you contracted, I could imagine, like a, a, th a three player for the three position, Brock Gardner. Any description that you can give of him from, from what you've seen so far in the scouting of, of Brock Gardner? Um, you know, as kind of my motto is, I, don't, I try not, never to search a player for one position. And uh, we, we, we had Brock in our visor or in our eyes, and uh, I knew that he could help us out on the four, and I knew he could help us out on the three and maybe even the two. You know, he's got offensive skills for all, all three positions. Defensively, I think probably three, four. Um, and he gets us. A, he's a very good athlete, so it gives us someone that can really attack the basket. And uh, but uh, yeah, fact is, we need we need at least one more They're just to cover up uh, the injuries that we have. And we needed one before, but there was still one one position missing. And uh, uh, but I'd be very very thankful if we were able to get that second uh, or that fourth foreigner in here. And because um, I know that would definitely help. And it's we also know that it takes an. Unfortunately, a long time for, or can take up to three, four weeks or five weeks to, to get a, a permit to play. So it um, doesn't seem like anyone, any help's going to be coming uh, in the next couple of days. So it's going to be a hard, like I said in December, I said in November, January and the beginning of February is going to be not easy, to say it nicely. The year chart started with, with a few challenges. Still, coach, we enjoyed a uh, high level competition today. We really enjoyed you, young guys. Good luck in Zwolle on Sunday and see you next Thursday against the boss. Okay, thank you. Yeah, here after the game against Kamenitz with uh, Kaza Kajami Keen. Welcome back in Holland, first of all. Good to see you again. How do you look back on tonight's game? Uh, it was a good game, obviously. Uh, we had to come in with a good intensity uh, after a long travel day and stuff like that. But it's a good team we played against, and I'm glad we came out with the win in the end. So, yeah. Can you talk about your role on this team? Uh, I'm a little older now, you know, so it's definitely a leadership role, trying to get everybody involved and uh, score and play make when I need to. Uh, but honestly, I enjoy my role on this team, and it's obviously really nice when you're, when you're winning. So uh, I think that hopefully we can continue to win and play well and, and see where the season goes. If I look back at your very successful period where you, where you won a national title with Zwolle, uh, you did everything, you scored, you know, you defended. It seems on this team, you know, you can focus on playmaking because everybody can score. You just need to be maybe, you know, you, you can score yourself, but also, you know, share the ball, facilitate, defend. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, as seasons go on and different teams, you got different roles. And uh, going into Zwolle, my role was obviously a lot bigger and a lot more I had to do. But 
uh, as your career goes on, you got to adapt to the situation, especially when you start moving up in levels and, and, and whatnot. But my time here in Holland, honestly, I always say is one of my favorite, if not one of my favorite places to play. Uh, the fans are great. Everybody was very nice. And uh, honestly, looking back, it was, it was amazing that I could start my career here in Holland. And on, honestly, during that time and now, you can see the, the talent level is so high. You know, like I remember we played against Leiden and they had like Darius Thompson, Maurice Watson, uh, uh, Mohamed uh, Mokarazi, Wordy. Yeah, so it was, it was a really, really good team, you know, and obviously our team, we, we were pretty well as well. Donar was really good, so uh, playing against high level players in your first year overseas was, was really fun. Awesome. Uh, did you get a chance, because he came out especially for you, to, to uh, talk to Coach Hermann van der Belt? Yeah, I, I, seen, I didn't get to talk to him because of the game and stuff, but uh, I'm going to call him after or send him a text message. Obviously, uh, you know, great relationship and we won a championship together and one of the nicest and, and well-rounded people that I, I've met over here in Europe. So uh, nothing but the best for him and, and his family. I've always had great things to say about him. Uh, let's uh, round off with a couple of final questions, if you don't mind. You're really successful as a team with Chemnitz uh, 99ers in the Bundesliga. Uh, what's the secret? Uh, or, or are you not allowed to share it? <laughs> no, honestly, we play really well together. We share the ball. Uh, I think we just have a lot of guys that are very hungry and very eager to learn and, and play hard. And I think that's, that's kind of what's made us successful so far. And we listen, you know, our coach tells us what to do and, and we follow. We have a really good coach, you know, so playing for a coach like that is doesn't come around as often as, as many players get. So honestly, we're, we're, in, we're in a good position right now. We just got to keep getting, keep getting better. So uh, hopefully we can continue this, this basketball we're playing right now. Yeah, well, we really enjoyed the high level that you showed as a team today. Final question, um, how do you look forward to the rest of this European Cup season? Because you're leading the group, you know, the way to the, to the last eight is, is wide open. What are your ambitions as a team to accomplish in the FIBA Euro Cup uh, this season? Uh, I think we have ambitions to, to go to the Final Four and, and see where that goes from there, you know. Um, obviously, like I said, we got a, re a really good team and I think if we put it all together and we continue to develop, we could achieve these goals, you know, and I think that's the main thing is to continue getting better and uh, understand that it's a long season, you know, so continuously understanding that we're going to get there, you know, but I think that's the most important thing is to try and see if we get the Final Four. Awesome to see you back in Holland. Kaza, Kajami, Keen, and we really are fond of the, the years you've spent as well and the great games you gave us and lots of success in the FIBA Europe Cup and also in the Basketball Bundesliga. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.